Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Indu Khosla. I'm a pediatric pulmonologist attached to the NHSRCC Hospital for Children in Mumbai. Today I'm going to speak about a topic which I'm sure is troubling one and all. Yes, I'm going to speak about recurrent respiratory infections in children. In the last six months, we have seen a surge of respiratory infections in children. It is so bad that a child has one respiratory infection which presents with fever, cough, with or without breathlessness and barely does the child get better that he gets it again. So on an average, every child is getting an infection every month or even twice in a month. Why is this happening and should we be worried about it? One of the phenomena that is now being claimed to be the reason for this is something called as an immune debt. During COVID, children were all indoors. They were not going to school. They were not going to crowded places. They were all masked. They were sanitizing themselves. This led to a, a, a long period where children had no infections. And this caused them, in a way, to have an immune debt because their body did not get stimulated by infections. And therefore, what we are seeing is a phenomenon called as immune debt. And now, when everything is opened up, children are getting re recurrent infections. When should you be worried? So if your child is breathless, definitely you need to rush to a, to a clinic or to your nearby doctor. Or if the child is turning blue or the child is crying excessively, especially a younger child who's crying excessively, not feeding well or is listless, this is a child who's probably very breathless. Also, if the child is getting recurrent infections, you must definitely visit your doctor and try and seek a solution for these problems. I think this will pass, but only time will tell us. Those who have a family history of asthma and allergy have to be even more careful because this could even be a beginning point of an asthma in children.